Hey, good evening, everyone. Good evening, and this is a wonderful Thursday evening once again. And for our conversation for today, it, I'm so excited. This is actually a topic I've been doing for, I think, almost two months. It started in April, and I've been consistently doing it twice a month. And I am excited for new people. I'm meeting new women again for today. And we're going to talk about generating additional income stream from home, even for non-experts. So if you're ready to learn how to create your own business, earn extra income, be flexible and have your flexible time, this is it. Just watch us tonight and hear from these ladies who are actually taking charge of their lives and creating an additional income from home to live their lives to the fullest. So for tonight, we have three wonderful guests with me. So I'm just going to call on them one after the other so they can introduce themselves. So first, we have here Tammy Chen Home. Please, Tammy, introduce yourself. She is from New Brunswick, Canada. So Tammy, go ahead. Hi, I'm, hi, I'm Tammy. I'm from New Brunswick. I'm a med um, medical office admin was my profession. And I'm a mom of two, a teenager and an adult. And I have a five-year-old granddaughter. And I've been married for three years to Wonder my, I guess, my youth sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I love that story you just told. Let, let's go let's go talk about that a little bit earlier, a little bit later. So we also have here a newbie, a Facebook Live newbie and a Facebook Live virgin. Can I say virgin here? So yeah. we have Donna. <laughs> so Donna Bell, please introduce yourself to all our audiences out there. Hello, thank you so much, Charlene, for uh, adjusting and accommodating me here today. Uh, so it's good afternoon from France. It's good morning in Canada and good evening in the Philippines. And Debbie, um, I have no clue where you are, so but around the world, it's around the world. So it's great. Um, my name is Donabel Malfe. I am originally from the Philippines. I lived in England for 13 years where I met my French husband, Tristan. Uh, we've been married for 24 years. So next year is the big silver. And uh, we have two kids together, um, Aiden and Natalia, who are 12 and eight years old. Wonderful. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I love that your, your husband's name, Tristan. Tristan, <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And now, Last but not the least, we have, of course, our guest here, Adebola. Adebola, please introduce yourself to everyone out there. Thank you, Charlene, for having me. It's an honor. Uh, my name is Adebola Kolawole. Uh, I'm a wife, a child of God, a wife. I'm also a mom. I work in human services, and uh, I'm also uh, a digital entrepreneur. I currently reside in New York with my family. Um, married, I've been married for like 17 years uh, to the glory of God. You know, we're still going good. We thank God for that. And, um, you know, and that's just all about me. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you for introducing yourself, ladies. And so what just I just wanted to say is that I'm so appreciative of this kind of business that we have, that we can do this across the world, across the globe. The fact that we have people from Canada, France, Philippines, and then New York, and we can still meet each other. And then, of course, this means that our business is global and it's international, mm -hmm. and you can do it from anywhere at any time of the day. Basically, it's 24-7. So with that, maybe we'll talk a little bit about, for those who are watching us tonight, maybe you can talk about what is this business all about? So we have here, hi, good evening, Harka. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. So for all audiences out there, if you have any questions, if you're, you want to ask anything from any of our uh, guests tonight, just comment on the comment box and we can answer all your questions tonight. Good evening. Hello, Harka. Good evening. So with that, I just wanted to ask anyone can answer this. What really, what is this business all about for you guys? So maybe some people are curious, what do you mean by generating additional income from home for non-experts? What does that mean for you? Maybe you can share with people out there. Well, I'm middle-aged, so <laughs> I wasn't internet savvy. So it was great for me because I had been a medical office admin, but I did need to leave my career. 
and start homeschooling my teenage daughter. And that left me in a predicament because I still needed to be able to find a way to homeschool and generate an income. So with this business and how the training's set up step by step, that's exactly what I got to do. So now I have an office with the classroom and we work together and our relationship's better than it's ever been. So wonderful. Anybody else want to chime in? Um, yeah. Okay, go ahead, uh, Debbie. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, you know, working online is something that uh, I just love the flexibility. Uh, before I started the business, uh, I really wanted my time back. That was one of the things that I wanted. Like, you know, I wanted to be able to just be in control of my time to, you know, dictate what I do for time and all that. And mm -hmm. there was also the fact that when I had my child, which took me like 12 years, you know, after marriage, before having her, and I had to go back to work. Thank God my work gave me like seven months. I could stay yeah. with her for seven months. And then after a year, after seven, I had to go back to work. My mom was able to help. But when she was one, I needed to not put her in daycare. And I thought, wow, could I just let this girl go to daycare? And it was so, so much a, a heavy burden to me. And I thought, Maybe I should even start a daycare mm -hmm. so I could just stay home and take care of my child and all the you know, kids. But then I needed the money that was coming from my job, so I just couldn't do that. And you know, mm -hmm. I eventually found a, a good daycare. So I've been thinking about, you know, I can, you know, what's the solution to it, this kind of situation if I ever have to come across something like this later on? Yeah. What will I have to do? What will I need to do? What can I do? Will I just continue to live my life, you know, like this? I said, no, I have to find a solution. I have to mm. find something that will give me flexibility to do whatever I can. If I have to stay home for two years, stay home for two years and take care of my child and all that. And mm. I've, since that time, I've been trying to find something. I've been thinking about it. So when it was time, I came across this uh, business and, and I thought, oh, okay. And it was not just this, I saw other ones. But this one just, I don't know, I just had a piece of God with me when I found this one. And I said, okay, I'm going to give it a try. Because that's what, when I feel peace in me, I said, God help me. And I feel that peace. You don't have any doubts. Should I do it? Should I not do it? I said, let me give it a try. There's no risk giving it a try. Okay. And I did, and I stayed, and I'm still here. And I have a goal of eventually being able to control that time, to be able to mm. be on my own. And that's what I'm working toward. And that was why I actually, you know, decided to do this. And your question about somebody with no expertise, that's just it. I wasn't working online. I wasn't doing any business online. Before that, I didn't know anything about it. You know, I knew a little of social media, but it's just something that anybody like me, like everyday people like we say, can do. And I got on a board. Great. Love it. How about you, Donna? Well, for for me, this business, well, the main reason I started it is it actually came up with so many things because um, when I was in England, I was working in finance and uh, I was really um, working my way up the ladder. I was so devoted to my job, but it had its toll. Uh, mm -hmm. My husband was working in the hospitality industry and we weren't seeing each other. And plus with all the traveling, nothing... Uh, and at one point when we decided to start a family, um, we tried for four years, nothing was happening. And that's when my father-in-law actually said, maybe it's time for you to leave London because he said London was just too fast. And so we moved here to Corsica and it was a shock. It was a complete different world. It's so laid back. But the only th the thing, because it's so laid back, it's an island jobs here are only yearly uh the yearly jobs are very hard to find yeah. and it's only seasonal work which is between four to six months i mean uh we're fortunate enough that tristan has a yearly job but then when we arrived here after trying for four years in england two months later i got pregnant with my <laughs> my son so it just showed that i was just so stressed in london and so when uh, when we came here in Corsica. I said to Tristan, I have to stay home. I want to be a stay home mom because my mom was a stay home mom. And uh, 
we sold our house in uh, in England, so we were able to afford at that time that for me to be a stay home mom. I was always planning and going back to work, but then. Three and a half years later, unplanned, my daughter was born. <laughs> it, it's, and we were even taking precautions. So it was really, the universe had a different plan for us. And so again, I had to stay home. So I was a stay home mom for nine years. Oh. And then in 2018, when my daughter started school full time, I realized I, I was lost. I didn't know who I was. You know, from being a career-driven woman, I was just always nappies and kids and birthday <laughs> parties. It was just completely a different world. And so I said, I'll find a job, which I got for four months in the season, but here you have to reapply every year. Yeah. And But then I, it was just so intense. Those four months, I was working six days a week between 12 to 14 hours a day my kids felt the difference and so did i and so i said it, 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 something has to change and then 2019 came it wasn't a good year for us i had to go back home in the philippines because my mom felt ill but i came back here um and i had to two months left i had to actually go back and look for another job because um, my mom passed away when i just came back so and I couldn't afford we couldn't afford for me to go back home. Yeah. And so it was it was very painful. And uh, so these little things actually started making me think wow, what but then I didn't really know what to do. Then 2020 mm. came lockdown, everyone was going online. And I looked for things. Um, I'm a very skeptical person, you know, it's like, I'm so scared of scams. And so I didn't really pursue it, pursue it. But then I knew that my sister-in-law actually started this business in 2019 and I was following her. Yeah. And then, so finally this year in February, um, I reached out to her because I was supposed to start work in April, 1st of April, but my push date, my date got pushed back because of the situation. So in February, I said, that's it. I'm going to just do something different. And I reached out to my sister, my sister-in-law, and uh, she gave me the link. And I just saw, and, I, and from then, I re watched the webinar. And now I am learning a lot. Now I'm realizing that with this business, anything is possible for anyone. May yeah. you be a full, may, even though you don't have any college degree i mean people in this business are rocking it regardless of their profession there are uh, people here who are lawyers and there are people here who has no experience at all no college education and they're all thriving so yeah. this business um it just opened my mind and so yeah. that's why i am very i think i've found my purpose i think <laughs> um so and it's something that I can do without having to sacrifice uh, my time with my kids. Yeah. So what I heard is really it's about time flexibility. It's about earning extra income, really earning and becoming your plan B. Maybe even this might be your plan A in the future, mm -hmm. right? Not necessarily now. But also at the same time, it actually is important because for you guys, it's really spending time with your children. It's spending time with the family as well. So, but maybe for those people who are out there right now and just wondering, what exactly is this business? Maybe I'll just give you an idea. This business is about social media marketing. It's about digital marketing. It's about not having your own product, but product with somebody else. But it's not about the product itself. It's about you talking about and learning about social media marketing and maximizing it. If you're able to do that using all the training tools, using all the uh, support, the system, the coaches, the mentor that is with us, then that is what we're talking about right now. So maybe for you guys, I know for a fact that there are so many similar um, businesses out there that are mm -hmm. similar to this, but what made you decide to go with this one? Uh, with, with me, I it's because to be honest, if it wasn't for my sister-in-law and her sister-in-law, 
I wouldn't even blink an eye. I wouldn't. I would probably look for another thing, but because. Um, and the thing was, uh, when I was watching the replay of the webinar, my um, coaches uh, who are in Australia, they are the sister-in-law of my sister-in-law, um, it just made it real for me, seeing someone so in the panel. it was a family business. It was a family it became business. became a family business. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, they never reached out. They never sold it to anyone. You know, it's... Yeah. it's uh, so it's for me looking for something and I found it. And uh, but after watching the panelists and everything, I still said it's too good to be true. But now I'm focusing all my energy and saying uh, I'm just focusing on them because for me, they are real people for me. I mean, I yeah. now that talking to you guys and connecting mm -hmm. with you guys again, it's real people. But the world is just so huge and, and 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 with what's going on there are people there who abuses the system and stuff but this community is really genuine and and uh, this is what made it real this is why i jumped in is because of my sister-in-law and and uh, her sister-in-law <laughs> how about you tammy or debbie so for me um I wasn't even really looking because I always wanted to be my own boss so I could spend more time because I lost so much time working shift work in the senior care and then working in the medical field. Yeah. But I didn't think I could do it because I didn't have any knowledge. And then one day, literally, the Lord put on my news feed this ad and I watched it and it kind of gave me something inside like hope. So I watched the workshop. It seemed really good. Um, I didn't know what it was. So every time my husband came out, I'd shut it off because I didn't know what to tell him it was yet. And I prayed for six months and the Lord kept telling me, do it, do it, do it. So I knew that it was the Lord that sent it to me. So I hopped right in. And as soon as I got in and met people, I was like, this is real. And it just made me excited. Like it's the best place to be. You know, I, I, I just want to touch on that. I think if it's if we talk to women, women would use their intuition and God-centeredness. But I think if you ask men, it would really come on the mind. <laughs> How about you, Debbie? What, what made you choose this business outside, uh, compared to any other? Yeah, uh, like I said before, when I found this one, there were some other ones that I was also looking at. Like, okay, I've seen like two or three other ones and I'm still trying to make a decision and all that. And uh, uh, when I saw the ad for this particular business, it really resonated with me because yes. the person I saw was just like me from, it, she was not just like, okay, a black person or an African because I'm originally from Nigeria. She's from, my, from Nigeria. She's also from my own local area, you know, and she was just not speaking English. She was just making it very raw, like talking to me, like talking, you know. So I just thought that, okay, you don't see this all the time. Like on the internet, I've never seen somebody speaking my language or telling me that this is, you know, something, you know, that this is real. You got to do this. And based on our own experience and what she's experienced, I mean, be, uh, previously and what she's experienced, you know, I thought, okay, let me give this a try. If this girl can do it, then I can do it. Uh, you know, our names were so similar. I said, okay, so this is very close to home. And you know, and that's just the way it is. The, the person, not just the message, the person also like resonated with me and then the yeah. message. And like we all say everyday people, and then you discover when you come, you discover that there are a lot of people that you know. You may even find your neighbor, your next door neighbor in this business. So that's how easy our family oriented and you know the business is. It just gives you that peace that okay, I'm in the right community. Yeah. What and what I'm hearing right now, it's about um, this business resonating with you, coming from people with similar experiences mm -hmm. and similar background and even uh, part of the family, right, who's also doing this, that makes it really credible. And I guess the proof is really in the pudding, as they say, right? There's like 80,000 members right now with mm -hmm. this business and growing. And that, that's already a fact that we want to put out there. And the fact that it's international and there are really like how many billions of people at 
mm-hmm. only thousands of us, 80,000, it means there's such huge mm-hmm. opportunities mm-hmm. That's out there, right? And we're like all across the globe. So there's really so many things that are still possible right now. So maybe how how are you guys doing so far in regards to when you started? How are you feeling so far in terms of the business? Who who here is has been the longest? Tammy, how long have you been in the business so far? It was a year on February fourteenth. Oh, congratulations! How about you, mm-hmm. Adepola, Debbie? Oh, uh, that would be almost seven months. Seven months? You're still a baby. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that the, the, oh, the no. I'm a baby. No, that's that's like that's like ten months. Like ten months. Yeah. 10 months okay. right? yeah. So, yeah so i guess the oldest one amongst us is really tammy because i'm here like when did i start i think i'm only four months here in the business so i just started january may so i'm on five months right now right two now. months and i guess two months donna is the baby of the group <laughs> yeah. so how, how are you how are you feeling about the business so far guys how's your experience so far I love it. I love it. Um, I've made more friends than I ever had all around the world. Once we're allowed to travel, like legally, I can yeah. visit so many people from everywhere. So I have people in, like that I mentor that are from Kenya and from Tanzania and from the wow. States and from Canada. And what I really liked is how I got to stay home with my daughter, like I said, because I missed out on both of my children so much and I can't go back to that. Right. But I can look forward, and last summer was our hottest summer that I can remember, and we spent it at the beach. Because right. as long as I had my phone and my internet on, I was still working. Yeah, so that's what I like. <laughs> how about you, Donna and Adebola? How's, how's your experience so far? How uh, So far, it's been quite exciting from the very first day when I started my training and everything. I. I look forward to doing it like, okay, this is just quite exciting. I've learned a lot of new skills and, uh, you know, this, the system is just so awesome. Meeting people, the community, the support, and you just know that you're not alone. So mm-hmm. I've, my, my business is, you know, growing, my team is growing, and uh, things are just looking good. And I, I know that that goal my goal that I'm achieving it this year is just so beautiful, so clear, so defined, and I can see it happening. So no regrets. I'm here and I'm here to stay. Wonderful. Donna, how was, how's that two months so far? <laughs> my two months so far is uh, amazing. I uh, never expected, um, I, I, I can't even uh, say it because um, every time I, uh, I talk to my husband, as soon as my husband comes home, I just tell him about the business. And uh, he looks at, he's a very supportive husband. And um, even when I was watching the pre-coaching videos, he just yeah. looks at me and he said, um, you're all fired up. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> he said, it's been a while since he saw that fire in me, because, which is true, because when I was in London and I was climbing that ladder up in the uh, finance world, the dedication that I put in, I'm feeling it back. I mean, it's as much as I put uh, giving my time to my kids when they were growing and still now. And I, what I don't like is, being torn between my kids and the and my work and right. in this business i'm not torn at all because i can do this at my own pace but at the same time i'm rediscovering myself i'm learning a lot which i you know being a stay-at-home mom for nine years my brain was dormant and uh, so, <laughs> hey so, i wouldn't exactly. say that <laughs> No. It's true for me. I felt that. I felt that because, especially being in a in a foreign country, it. I think it's it it was it's hard for me to make uh, to connect with people here because of the mm-hmm. language barrier. Um, I I do speak French now. I do understand French, but it's still different when you actually um, when when you communicate with your mother tongue or it's very yeah. different culture. 
And so mm -hmm. I don't really, I have lots of friends here, which is the mother of my children's friend, but I wouldn't consider them as like the bond that you make. When uh, for two months here, I've made friends in Canada, in New York, in Australia. Yeah. And I have to tell you, the bond that I've made with them is nothing compared to the bond that I've been. And I've been here for 13 years. So mm. so this business, even though it's I've just been here for two months, I'm loving it because I am yeah. learning a lot. And uh, it, it's not a matter of my brain was dormant, but it, it's how I felt. It's, 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 I really thought I really thought that I I've lost yeah. myself, and yeah. this is really making me have something. So it, uh, it's a passion you have found, for me now. Yeah, I found you have found purpose. your new purpose. Exactly. This is now your new purpose in life. That's wonderful. Yes. I think, I think this is this is great. And I hear I hear a lot about you guys. Uh, when you talk about this not only being a purpose, but I also hear about really having friendship and connection, uh, making making wonderful people, meeting wonderful people, and it's really expanding our world, not necessarily just doing things as the same. And I guess this is something that I also resonate. So even even me as a coach, you know, as a coach, and I actually came from corporate for the longest time. And so the reason why I actually left corporate for that was because I myself felt really, um, you know, feeling stressed, worried, always tired, feeling that it's like the, the pressure is not only on your brain, it's on your whole body and everything is all about work, work, work. Mm -hmm. And I guess, and I guess when I decided to leave, I also, well, the stress wasn't there, but also the income was not as great as it was, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is mean. This means that for people out there who really wants another stream of income, who wants your extra side hustle, this is it. This is also something that you can do, mm -hmm. which is what I'm doing because I'm actually coaching on the side as well. And I'm not gonna. And I'm not planning to stop. I mean, I love. I love being a coach. I love doing it. But also, it's also great that I'm creating this business as well on the side. And I love the fact that I'm also stretching myself. The fact right now that I'm doing Facebook Live every week and sometimes twice a week is, is something so far from where I started. And actually, I started during the pandemic, which was March of last year. And now I'm doing it like almost twice a week as well. So, I mean, this is something that's really stretching our horizon. And the fact mm -hmm. that I can now do videos and I can do ads is I can even do uh, I can even do video editing <laughs> right now, which I never did and I never fathomed in my mind that I could ever do. I mean, for those people out there who's really in that sense that you really want to learn and you want to learn a skill, mm -hmm. this is it. This is it. This is it. But only if you're really gonna ready to stretch yourself as well. So I think it started. It was like I'm. I'm getting so. You know, sometimes learning is also hard, right? Especially when it's out of your comfort zone. Who Who here had really that big a challenge at the beginning? Let's be real. I I actually had the challenge when it comes to, especially when it comes to posting online every day, right? Oh, oh like, my. Yeah, and actually Modupe, who was my guest last time, was saying, I don't even want to be online. <laughs> so who here has that kind of uh, maybe that hurdle that you wanted? Tell me you. How about you? What? How did you feel about that? Um, uh, I had never heard of Oh, okay, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> um, I, I had never been a selfie person. So to take like selfies and I never was one that would ever, ever, ever do a go live ever. So <laughs> my first one was probably the most horrible thing you could see, but I did it. I challenged myself and I've mm -hmm. grown as a person through this business because now I'm not scared to take selfies and <laughs> I do go lives, which my family kind of just laughs at me because they know how I was. So yeah. <laughs> I know that's so wonderful. But uh, are you are you comfortable now with your go lives no. as I can you now? At I least am. you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh how about you? How about you, Adabola? 
Um, okay, prior to this business, I had a presence on Facebook, you know, on social media. Like, I was there, but I didn't, like, there was a time, like, yes, I just believe that whatever is my business is my business. Mm. Nobody needs to know when I went to the shop or when I'm, you know, tilling my garden or anything like that. So yeah. I, I took off all my pictures from social media. If you tag me on social media, you know, when somebody tags you, it comes on your timeline. I go there, I untag myself because I don't want to see my picture on my timeline. I only had one picture, which was my profile picture. But I kept my account because I wanted to see what's going on with some friends, back home, news, and all that. That was all. I don't even wish anyone happy birthday on Facebook. Oh. I didn't do that. I don't make comments. I don't, you know, I don't like, I don't do anything. But I added because I was quite a private person. But when I started my business, I realized that, okay, I have to be more present on social media. So uh, even till now, I have my my business page. I do business on it. I still have my personal profile. I have to make it active, so I do post, you know, occasionally. And the posting too was a challenge at the beginning. Like, okay, I have to do, you know, to make sure that my business page is, you know, active. You know, do three posts and everything. Sometimes I manage to do one. I could do two. I know. <laughs> All those things were like, okay, I have to, because I'm so very meticulous about it. I want it to be perfect before I yeah. put it out and all that. But so far, it's been good. It's been a great experience. Now I'm more comfortable. I still don't go personal about my life, but I still, you know, I'm able to, like, show my presence on there once in a while with a picture of, you know, my family, but very few. And... You know, that's one of the challenges. Like, I have to, like, okay, now be on social media. Yeah. Go live, I needed to challenge myself. Like, a few, like, about a month or two months ago, I challenged my team. Let's go live on our group, you know, our Facebook group, and just say something, just to introduce yourself so that you can, like, initiate yourself into the go live thing. Because one time or other, you may have to do it. And that was why how I started. I just went on my team page and I said, okay, introduce myself. And then I started doing interviews after that. And here I am today, you know, another interview. Yeah, so wonderful. Today, you know, it's good that it makes me to want to challenge myself to do things that I wouldn't do normally. And that's one good thing about, you know, the business. And you still feel safe and you still keep your integrity even while you're doing this. Yeah, wonderful. But maybe the question to you girls is, what was the change that made you want to do it? What was the change in you that triggered you saying, yeah, I'll go ahead no matter what. I'll go ahead even if I'm, discom I'm uncomfortable. I'm going to do it. What was the change in you? For, uh, for me, um, uh, my... The change, the reason why I'm doing all this is, is, my, is for my family. Um, when, like I said, in Corsica, when we moved here, I, it, it's very hard because um, living in London, you, the possibilities there is endless. You know, if you work hard, you, you can climb up the ladder and uh, you, you have lots of opportunity. Unfortunately, in Corsica, it, and it's the fact of life here, is it's it's a very tiny island and so um if you don't have a yearly job the banks are not as uh, willingly to give you mortgages and so when we moved here we it was like my dream of having a house is gone we because i don't have a yearly job only my husband does and therefore the bank won't give us credit and that's mm. that's the fact and so Little by little, as, uh, while my children are growing up and people here, you see um, lots of business owners here, their restaurants and, and, uh, and so they're the only one who are actually thriving. And uh, for the rest, it's like you take a back seat and you'll be forever an employee. 
And so this is what also pushed me for a change. And now just even being two months in this business, I can see the possibility. I can see that one day I, we would be able to buy a house here in Corsica. Mm -hmm. And so I am focusing all my energy into um, making this business work. And it is possible because when you see success stories in our community, we are all yeah. using the same system. So if it works for them, you, uh -huh. you know, if you have that correct mindset, it will work for everyone. But you have to be determined and uh, you just have to want it. That, yeah. so, and, and therefore, because my why is much, much stronger than my fear, yeah. This is why I'm overcoming uh, whatever comes my way. It's just two months, so I don't know. But uh, knock on wood, hopefully it's going to be smooth sailing. I just hope so. So I've yeah. heard stories as well where, you know, being shut down by Facebook and, you know, <laughs> but that's my first fear at the moment. <laughs> so. <laughs> but don't for, forget about that you'll get it's, there uh, i mean i know <laughs> so, so that's yeah the fear it's your why I, you have to have yeah, a strong I, why i guess i guess that's what i wanted to hear i i i'm so happy that you said that donna is the fact that whatever is worth it is worth doing yeah and your worth is your value of what you want which is your legacy which is your house, which is what you will give to your children, mm -hmm. is much more important than your inner critic, right? That we all have our inner critic, especially women. <laughs> women have inner critic that says, why are you going on Facebook? Do you really, do you looking like that? Really? What are you going to say? <laughs> so I, mean, so I, I love the fact that you challenge your critics. You're, you talk to yourself and you stop on your critics and you move forward. I, I super love that fact. What about you guys, uh, Tammy or Debbie? Um, what got me to challenge myself to do the go lives too was there's a lot of scams out there, right? There's a lot of things out there that are too good to be true. So yeah. I want the people on my business page to see that I'm a real person, that I'm like them, and to get to know me as yeah. a friend so that they trust me, right? So that was why I challenged myself to do yeah. that. Um, I did try taking videos of myself for a while and kept erasing them because I was like, oh, I sound horrible. I look horrible. <laughs> but I did it, and I actually had more interaction on my page than ever. So I was like, wow. <laughs> actually, did you notice, guys, if you post a picture of yourself, you get more interaction, you get more comments, you get more likes than when you post like a... a, a uh, a copy or something like that i get i get more likes if i have a picture of myself than when you have just a picture of something else i guess mm -hmm. so people really relate with other people i guess that's that's the thing that we need to be more uh conscious of how about you debbie what made you push yourself to do it no matter what oh uh, first i wanted to challenge myself to do something outside you know my uh comfort zone okay let mm -hmm. me go out there i do videos you know which but when you do a go live you're right there somebody could just ask you a question and you may have to answer and all that so i wanted to do something different and another thing is that you know video is very uh um brings back more let me say uh result than picture you know you have a picture there you get more likes if you have a video there there's more interaction so when you have a go live, you are right there. Even if you don't get those interactions right away, you still. And like Tammy said, people need to know that you're real, that you know yeah. you're a real person, not just a computer, uh, you know, avatar or something, whatever you know it could be. So and also I knew that that could also you know like expand or affect my business positively so anything that will promote my business because i'm doing business so i'm not just going to sit down and do nothing so i anything that is going to make business better i also wanted yes. to be able to do it if it's in my power if i'm able to i'll like give it a try and do it so yeah. so far i've not even done a lot of go lives except the interviews but i'm on air i'm talking you know people are hearing me 
So um, I started with this. Can you imagine that? I started with interviews. I did one go live on my page. Then I started doing interviews. So I said, okay, I will do a go live. Then on a one day, and I just don't get to do it. But I said, let me just keep doing the interviews. At least when I give somebody my word that I'm going to be here on this particular day, I can't break that word. So I have to be there. So, and it's been nice so far. It's, it's been great. Wonderful. So I super love the point that you made, Tammy, about people. Uh, people are really aware of scams, mm -hmm. and they're true enough, especially within the internet right now. There are tons of scams. There are truly scams. And for me as well, the reason why I've been doing a lot of these videos as well in this interview is for people to really get to know who the people are in the business, not just me. But the fact that they can also see that the fact that I can have different faces at uh, every other week of my life, that there these are people that are real, that they are all over the world, and it's really something that is doable. If if they can do it, so can I. And if they can do if I can do it, so can you, whoever is watching out there. I guess it's so important for us to have that mindset. And I just wanted to share that with everyone out there. That you know, uh, whatever questions you have, you can ask us, we can answer it quite here. And we actually are very transparent with you for you guys, whoever else is watching out there. We have our landing page there, which tells a little bit more about the businesses that we have. We also have the replay on our pages if you sign up. And you can ask questions during actually the live sessions, which are basically twice a week. So if you have any skepticism that you want your questions answered, you can ask us even here in the comment box right now, whoever is watching out there. Just ask us at any time and we'll give you an answer. So maybe as we, maybe we've been going on for 40 minutes or so right now. And it, it yeah, time, actually time flew so fast. So maybe for you guys out there that for you right now, Tammy, Debbie, and Donna, what can you tell the people out there who are really searching for that right business that they want to own, that they can put their name on it, that that they want to do this for long term? What can you say to the people out there? Um, with me, what it was is the way I look at it is I had um, when I watched that ad, she had a key and she offered to pass me that key, which is the workshop. and. When I watched the workshop, I saw that the key actually fit my dream. So I entered in and I've never looked back. So that's all these people need to do is they need to realize that we have a key and the key, they just need to take it, which is watching the workshop. And then it's either going to fit their dreams or it's not, but at least they're going to know that it worked and that they took that chance, right? Sometimes the ones that are the worst things standing in our dreams is ourself. And we need to realize that if they're doing it, I can do it. They're no yeah. better than me, right? So if yeah. someone's watching this and they're kind of looking for something, just take the key and see if it fits your dreams because it probably will. Wonderful. I love that. I love that analogy. I love that key. Love that. What about you, Donna or Debbie? I mean, like like we've been saying, that like this business is for everybody. Like if you don't need to be anything special. You don't need to have a prior experience in, real, um, in business. Or you don't even need to be a computer guru. You don't need to be a computer, you know, uh, uh, person. You just need to have that uh, belief that you can and give it a try. There are a lot of things out there, a lot of scams, and people are scared, people, you know, are fearful, you know. But yeah. you're just coming in to give it a try. You've got nothing to lose by giving it a try. And if it doesn't fit, then you move on. But what you don't try, you don't know if it's for okay. you. Until you try it, you know if this is, you know, if this fits me. Or, or, like Tammy said, she took the key and the key opened the door. But if the key is not going to open the door for you, you're not going to know until you try it. So the workshop is just, it's free. Just sit down, listen, know about it, you know, get information about what the business is and try if it's something for you or not. Otherwise, then you move on. 
Thank you so much. Thank you for that. What a, Donna? Uh, for, for me, um, the the business, uh, what, what this can offer is um, for anyone out there who, who thinks that you need to have, uh, in order to be successful, we all want to be successful in life. And uh, I thought when I was younger that in order for me to be successful, I have to have a degree in, 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 uh, in either in accounting, in law, or in uh, be a doctor and work for a corporate uh, company and just go up there. And I really realized that, no, this business can actually make you even bigger um, with the success stories, like I said, it still blows my mind when I do hear the stories of the people in this community. It's, it's still, it's still I, I don't understand how it can come true, but yeah. it's yeah. With, your, with the correct mindset. And this, this business actually does correct your mindset because I am really learning it uh, and I'm applying it to myself because I am very impatient. But what you need to realize that you have to build your foundation first, but it's okay because you're not yeah. alone in, in your journey. There you've got the support of an amazing community and a system. That's what, what pulled me in is the proven yeah. system. And like what uh, Tammy said, the key, this is the key to, to anyone's dream. Um, I always tell my kids that action has consequences. Every time they do something naughty, I say, action has consequences. But doing nothing is a consequence on its own. Because mm -hmm. if you don't do anything, if you don't take that risk, you won't get anywhere. And um, for me, I took that chance. Um, maybe it was easier for me because I saw a familiar face. Yeah. Um, so, so maybe someone out there who can relate, maybe, you know, trust, uh, trust the people that are doing this because it yeah. does work. It does yeah. work. And I want to share that. Uh, I was, I was in my little world thinking that in order to be successful, you have to have that degree. And now it's giving me hope. This business is giving me hope. Uh, say, now I can say I can be successful to one day. Hopefully, we will see, um, depending, our journeys are all different. So some goes faster, some go slow. Yeah. But yeah. I know that sticking to this business, I will be successful one day. So yeah. that's my yeah. take. <laughs> Wonderful. So I think for me, also for me, I think the biggest learning here for everybody is, like uh, Donna saying, you know, when you were growing up, your mom will say, hey, get a degree, get a degree, go to school, get great grades, go to work, find your retirement, have a wonderful life. But with what's happening out here and around here on this world nowadays, having a degree, having a job and a secure job is not necessarily possible. And with what's happened with the economic downturn, it may be that even your job out there is not secure and stable, nor is ours when we're working with somebody else. But with this kind of business, the power is in your hands. How much time, how much effort you put in the business is how much result that you will get. So it's really for those who are here wanting to learn, put your feet in, knowledge is power, but massive determined action is the key not the knowledge it's the application of that knowledge is the key so for those people out there that's still wondering if this is for me apply it and see but what's more important i think here is the mindset that says and donna was just saying it that it's not about the speed of the success it's really about the progression of that success to move you forward because this is a business that is here for the long run it is not it's not just a fly-by-night business it's about a legacy business that you can actually transfer to your children and to your children's children and to your children's children's children in the future as well and so it really is about that and the fact that 
uh, working in corporate, there's always a limit, right? There's always a limit. There's only depends on the competency, capability, hierarchy of the company, stability of the company, and how much the company is making. But here in this business where you are the owner, it is how much you can actually put in that will drive your growth and your progression. So with that, thank you ladies for this night. Thank you for sharing with us. Any last things you want to share with everyone out there and maybe invite them to visit your pages. Go ahead, anybody can start. Okay, uh, I just wanna say. Go ahead, Go ahead. Debbie. Sammy. <laughs> I'm just going to say, uh, like I said before, that, you know, uh, if you have a dream, if you have a goal that you're looking to achieve and you really want to make a change, you want to do something different, you want to challenge yourself, you know, if you don't take the action, you could think those things, you could hope for those things, but without taking action, nothing is going to happen. So taking action and taking charge is, you know, taking responsibility. So you have to take that action. And in this business, all you need to do to get to know if this is for you is just to go to any of our websites and register to watch a workshop. You know, you just need to watch, uh, watch that workshop and that gives you the information you need to know about this business. And then you'll be able to give it a try if it's something you want to do or something you don't want to do. But not giving it a try is not doing right, okay? You need to take that action, you know, in, you know, towards achieving that goal, that dream. Thank you. How about you, Tammy? Um, you owe it to yourself. Like, if you're, especially if you're in a job where you don't enjoy it, you have to look at it this way. If you're still doing that job in five years, you're still not going to enjoy it and nothing's going to change. So if you're unhappy with something, whether it be the job or the income you're making or the time with your family, you owe it to yourself to check us out and my business page to see that I'm a legit person and that she didn't just put someone on here is Tammy Trenum Mentoring. You can check it out and see that I'm actually a real person with a real page. <laughs> and finally, Donna. For me, um, for people, for those of you who who's wrapped up in their job because sometimes it's human nature and nature to just, you know, be constantly uh, doing the repeat of everyday life. We get so content and uh, we don't realize the price that we're paying. Uh, we cannot get back the time. So for those of you who are, who are actually not, who are doing two jobs at once and who are, who is trying to make ends meet, um, there's a better way. There is a better way. So do register on any of our website, watch the webinar, see it for yourself if this way is better for you or not. Um, but you have to want it. You really have to want it for this to work. So it's, it's like what Tammy said, you owe it to yourself. They say that if you actually like what you're doing, um, uh, if the job that you have, you like what you're doing, then it means you will never have to work a day again. So enjoy life. <laughs> try, try doing something that you love. And who knows, you know, maybe watching the webinar, it will click like it did for me. So just, just try. There's no harm. Wonderful. And so we leave you for this tonight. For everyone who still have questions out there, just send us a message on the comment box below and we will respond to you. Or you can just visit all, any of our landing pages. So for tonight, just leave you with this note that it's about massive determined actions. This is how you are going to create your own success. And with that, I leave you for tonight and see you next week again, Thursday, when we talk about mommy because it's happy mother's day next week so happy mother's day ladies advance happy mother's day and watch us and watch us again next week on thursday at 7 p.m for that topic of mommy and me bye everybody girls don't leave ladies don't leave yet. <laughs>